Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Saturday, July the 20th. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm Cycle, and thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I will extol you, O God, for you have drawn me up. Alleluia. Psalms 30 and 32. Please recite them with me. Alleluia, I will extol you, O God, for you have drawn me up, and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Most High, my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. You brought my soul from Sheol and restored my life from the dead. Sing praises to the Most High, O you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to God's holy name. For God's anger is but for a moment, God's favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. And as for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O God, you established me strong as a mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you I cried, and to you I made supplication. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear me, and be gracious to me, O God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing and you have taken off my sackcloth and caused me, clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Most High, my God, I will give thanks forever. Alleluia. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom God imputes no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silent, my body wasted away, through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Most High, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer you prayer. In the time of distress, the rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like horse or mule without understanding whose temper must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Most High. Be glad in God and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will extol you, O God, for you have drawn me up. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, beginning at verse 26. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said, Even if all fall away because of you, 
I will never fall away. And Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer and our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of word and sacrament. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For those who died, especially Louise, Brother John David, Brother Richard Bradley, and Father Cyprian. for the victims of terrorism and violence, and for all who serve in harm's way. For those who are sick, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill, and for all who struggle with addiction. For the mercy of God community, Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God Associates. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Forgive us our sins and offenses, and guide us with your eye, and teach us the way we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.